Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great one. I'm glad to be back. I've been out with the flu. Yeah, that's why I've been gone so long. And I did get back to work, but I was just a little too exhausted to try to do any kind of recording. Um, you know how that is. Sorry if you can hear some rain. It's been raining here for a couple days and it doesn't want to stop. It is what it is, right? Alrighty, first thing we're going to talk about today is the Bizarre Blush from Tarte. Um, I did pick it up. I am very happy I picked it up. Um, it is deluxe size pans, not full size, which I'm actually completely fine with because I have tried panning blushes in the past and believe me, it's dang near impossible. I finally almost got a loose one down to like maybe 15 or 20 uses, hopefully, and it'll be done. It takes forever to do a blush, believe me. So having sample or deluxe sample sizes is very fine with me. This is has 10 pans at 0.84 or yeah, 0.084. Um, when I figured out per gram, this one came up to 0.366 a gram. It's actually very reasonable, or $4.40 a pan. It's very sturdy plastic packaging, unlike the Big Blush Book. Um, the Big Blush Book it was 0 0.20 pan times 8 was 160 grams, and it came out to 0.375 a gram. Pretty darn good, I thought. I was like, okay, I could deal with that. So... This is actually with the sturdier packaging as less per gram. I was a little surprised by that. I really was. Well, of course, I did my math wrong. And if I did, leave any comments down below if you want to verify what it is. But when I figured it out on the computer, I entered all the numbers and this is what it told me. So we hope it's correct, right? <laughs> Gotta be laugh at myself if it's wrong. It is what it is. But from what I've seen from the numbers research, um, this is actually cheaper per gram. Um, you get 10 shades instead of 8. Um, the highlighters in here are very different from the highlighter in the Big Blush Bug. There are some almost dupable ones between the two. Um, Peachy from the Big Blush Book is High Sheen to Fortunate in here, which is a matte version of it. It's an orangey color. Heat in the Big Blush Book is dupable to Extraordinary in this one which heat has more of the peach extraordinary is a little bit more pink so there is a difference they're both high sheen um well an extraordinary is a satin sheen where heat is a high sheen um rad and exhilarating exhilarating is a toned down version of rad rad is definitely brighter um Kindred and Angelic. Kindred, it has more of an orange tone to it. Angelic has an under peach, like a pink tone to it. Um, this one definitely leans, has warms, but it has a lot of the rosy pinky mauves too, which I actually kind of like the balance. And this one is definitely more mauvey pink. The other one is definitely more um, the orangey colors, peachy colors. So there is enough difference that I'm actually very glad I bought both of these. Yay! Um, I've also purchased the third one. The packaging got me on that one. Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> I'm a makeup junkie, right? <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is, right? All right, let's me open this up and I'll start swatching this guy up for you guys. I'm going to do the highlighter separate. I'm just going to do the blushes to start with. And then I will do these two highlighters and the highlighter from the big blush book all three together so you can see the different tones um i do like the highlighters one of them it, its name is worthy i keep thinking of it as unicorn because that's the feel you know that unicorn makeup it reminds me of that though they didn't call it unicorn they called it whimsical which i think is very no worthy i keep wanting to call it whimsical it's because it has a unicorn feel right <laughs> all right here we're gonna start with the the bottom piece here, here is Worthy, the next to it is Extraordinary, then it's Dainty, Endless, and Authentic. Now you can definitely see where this is more of the peach, this has definitely still got a lot of the peachy in it. This is like a pink, this is a rose pink, and this one leans towards mauve. 
So here is the first one, Extraordinary. Then I have Dainty. I have Endless. And I have Authentic. And I think they did a good thing at stepping down the colors. Because you have, this is the High Sheen. This is the Extraordinary, which I thought was a pinker version of the Heat. So I'm happy with that. I think all those colors turned out good. I think they did a good step down process from light to medium to deep. And this one's definitely more of the mauve color where it's more pink. So you get more variety. One of the complaints from the Big Blush book I heard quite a bit was is a lot of people thought the tones were too different. That whole side, all the tones are very different. Enough that you can actually, it doesn't all blend to look the same on the cheeks on this one. So I do like that. The next thing is, sorry you guys, I was wiping my hand off. Try not to go all the way down my arm, <laughs> but if I have to, I will, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, on this side, Whimsical is the one. I keep calling this one, that one Whimsical when it's worthy. This is the unicorn version one I'm thinking of highlighter. Okay, on this one, we have Exhilarating, which I thought was a good dupe for Rad. Skill, Skillful, Fortunate, which I thought was the matte version of Peachy. And then Angelic, which I said was the pinker version of Kindred. So this one is Extraordinary, Dainty, Endless, Authentic. Now, Endless has quite a bit of orange base undertone, but it's different. Fortunate is brighter, very much brighter where that one's a little bit more terracotta. Um, so you've got a nice color variety in this one. You really do. I think this one, they thought the colors out well. I think they did pretty good not putting too much sheer, too many high sh sheens in it. I think sometimes when you put all those high sheens, they become, they kind of blur out to the one. I like layering mine. I've always talked about how I use blush, blush toppers and highlight. And occasionally I even contour. I know that's a lot of steps, but... I have a lot of acreage here I can play with. <laughs> hey, believe me, otherwise it's one blob of color and it doesn't always look good on me. So, personal opinion, mind you, personal opinion. Alrighty, so that was the blushes, and now we will do the highlights. And then I will swatch the comparison before I was talking about how they were similar and would be the only real dupes between the two palettes, in my opinion. Okay, we're going to start out with Whimsical. Very much a gold. It looks more champagne in the pan, but it's actually more of a gold. The next is Worthy. This thing, I've been obsessed with this one. But like I said, I'm thinking more unicorny. It's a lavender white with a touch of champagne undertone. This one is probably going to be my favorite of the three. The next one, I'm pulling out the big blush book. It's called Spirited. Now you can see this is more of a yellow where this is more gold. So this is what we, they call more champagne where this is more of the golden color. So I definitely like them. They are very pretty. Worthy has been my favorite of all three. Now wipe off these samples or sample samples samples. Really Sky? <laughs> you know what? I think once in a while I'm just going to leave one of these goose in here and give you something to laugh at because I just think it adds so much. It's so real. And I'm a real person. So let's keep it real, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Peachy, which I am going to compare to Fortunate. The top is Fortunate. The bottom is Peachy. Matte version. This has got more shimmer. This is matte. This has a touch more pink too. But those would be the two I would do for that. The next one would be Heat. And I wrote myself a reminder note so I wouldn't forget. When you're doing all these different ones and you're trying to remember which one does to what, after a while you get a little confused. Okay, the top one's going to be Extraordinary out of the Bazaar. 
And then the second one is Heat out of the Big Blush Book. A little bit more matte, but otherwise very dupable. This one's got more shimmer, this one is matte. So, just so you can see. Sorry, my light is changing because there is a storm outside. So, I mean, if the shimmer is the difference, then you know which way to go on that one. Okay, the next one is Rad. I keep wanting to call it Red, but it's Rad. <laughs> and Exhilarating. Okay, so... Here's exhilarating, and here's rad. These two, I mean, one's just a slightly brighter pink than the other one. They're pretty darn close, and when they sheer out, one's just a little bit more cool tone, the other one's just a little bit more warm. It's hard to tell the difference unless, of course, you're somebody like me who plays with paints. You may not notice the difference between those two at all. Okay, and the last dupe that I think outright is angelic and kindred. I thought Kindred was a brown, uh, con a blush, not, yeah, blush, and on me and my skin tone, I can play it off like a blush. A lot of people say, uh, I said blush. I'm leaving it. Bronzer. I said bronzer, not blush. Um, in my skin tone, it looks like a bronzer. Um, I can use it as a back blush, but I can't pull it forward as a front blush because it makes me look flat faced. so... A lot of people say it's supposed to be a blush, and I can believe that, but it's just the wrong tone for my skin tone. So, all right, and now for the last two. The top one is Angelic, and the bottom one is Kindred. Again, just a little pinker, a little bit more orange, and that's really the difference to this. One is more pink tone. The Bazaar is more pink tone with touches of peach and orange. The Big Blush book is definitely more orange with touches of pink. And that variation, plus this one, the Bazaar, has um, some mauves in it. Of the two, I think the Bazaar is a better buy. Unless, of course, you really want those all those warm tones, you're going to want to go with this one. I also have the third one coming in. I'm waiting for the meal today. I was hoping it would have been here by now, but it isn't, and I want to get this out. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have done all three in one. Um, I will do a review on that, too, if you want. Just leave me a comment below if you want. That only has four shades in it, um, but they're very much deeper tones and more true colors, so maybe I'll do a swatch comparison with some of these, two. Well, that's it. Um, I hope you all like the information, the swatches. I hope you enjoy this very much. If you do, don't forget to like, um, share, or comment as you like. Thumbs up would be nice too. And until next time, remember y'all, you do you. Bye.